Hey, I'm Mark Montano, and I'm the author of The Big Ass Book of Crafts, Volume 1, and we're back with The Big Ass Book of Crafts, Volume 2. Yes, that's right, another 150 projects that are even sassier than in The Big Ass Book of Crafts 1, all right? Did you get that? Sassier? That's a joke, and it's also on the cover of the book. Anyway, 150 projects. I think you're really going to enjoy these projects. They're different and interesting, and you can make these projects with stuff that you have at home already. I promise, mostly everything that I use in this book you already have under your kitchen sink or hidden in your craft cabinet. And I know you have a craft cabinet or you wouldn't even be watching this video. Now, this project, which is a masquerade mask, looks kind of fancy, doesn't it? Well, I purposely didn't cover the back so you could see what I made this out of. It's just a little bit of fabric and some cardboard. I actually take those boxes from the post office that you're not supposed to take, and I turn them into craft projects. We all have them at home, so go for it. Anyway, uh, just cardboard, a little bit of fabric, and some hot glue, and you have something amazing like this. If you like to sew, or you're not even the best sewer in the world, I show you how to make pillows that are low and no sew. This is a really cool Union Jack design that I made out of some ribbon and just some scrap fabric that I had at home in red, white, and blue. And this scarf right here is just made out of ribbon scraps. And a lot of people who craft have just small pieces of ribbon at home. And you can just zigzag the edge together and make a really fantastic scarf and throw it in the washing machine. It looks better every time you wash it. One of my favorite chapters in the book is called Shoe Biz. And we tell you all kinds of different things that you can do with those scuffed up shoes that are hidden under your bed. The ones that you don't want to get rid of, well, now you have something to do with them. This particular shoe right here, and I call this the shoestring shoe. And what I've done is taken a scuffed white pump, we all know you have a pair, and I wrapped it with yarn and spray painted it with some black Krylon spray paint. And look at this great design, it's super punk. Anybody would love to wear this, I think it's great. You could put another layer of string on it, spray it with another color, and kick up the design a little bit just an easy thing to do with an old pair of shoes that you might have laying around the house. Guys, if you're wondering, like, how does this relate to me? Do this on a pair of old white sneakers. It would look just as cool. All right, we all have a pair of cargo pants that we're not getting rid of because we think they're going to come back in style. I hate to tell you this, folks. Cargo pants don't look good on anyone, but they do look great as this cargo pant bag. Put the pair of pants on your table and cut off the leg and make a really cool bag out of it. Do you see these pockets? These are the pockets that are right there on your thighs that make you look hippie. Even the guys, even guys don't look good in these. But everybody's gonna look good in this bag with this cargo bag, I promise you. And it's so easy to make. All these ideas and 150 more are in the Big Ass Book of Crafts too. Now go buy the book, okay? Just press buy. Just, it's right down there. If you just look, it says buy. Buy it.